hey guys welcome back to xamarin guys so in this tutorial we are going to integrate google maps inside our xamarin forms application so at first we need to update our xamarin forms project and then add google maps plugin inside our xamarin forms shared android and ios project so this will be a part series where the first part is going to be adding google maps and the second part will be like we are going to integrate uber clone type of app inside our Xamarin forms application so uh, let's get started with the coding from where we'll get our sample resources from so let's add a platform specific implementation for Android that is inside our main activity we need to copy this line of code and then inside main activity of Android save it below the Xamarin forms init method so saved in the instance state is going to be called for platform specific implementation then let's go to the android manifest as we are going to configure for android specific only right so let's go to the source code editor inside application tag we are going to paste this line of code i'll give that code inside my video description below you can just copy and paste it over there then inside our android manifest enable access find location then excel uh, the course location mock location and then we don't need anything the internet we need to enable it as we are going to use internet service then this is the ios specific implementation that need to be added inside appdelegate.cs so it requires our google map api key so let's create one folder named as constants then i'm going to add a class named as app constants i'm going to paste this constant string which gets called inside our app delegate.cs let's call app constants over here then let's inherit from that specific folder that is jam g maps folder inside our info.p list file if you are using visual studio for windows then it is really easy to edit your info.p list file so we are going to basically use text editor in our visual studio for mac and add this line of code i'll give that whole project in my video description below you can just grab that code and then paste it inside your info.p list file now after adding that line of code you can just see over here we are getting all the permissions request over info.plist file now let's add map tag so that we are going to call our maps from our xamarin forms google maps plugin that we have just added let me drop that code over here now this map is going to be called inside our main page.xaml.cs and we'll be attaching pins inside that maps so that the specific location can be tracked so we'll be calling that map with the x name map you can just see over here we have x name as map then we'll be adding a pin we are done with the shared code integration now it's time to add current activity plugin inside our xamarin forms android project so plugin dot current activity is going to be added inside our android project only then let's add some platform specific implementation that need to be done in order to add that plugin dot current activity so saved instance state that we have done previously will be added then we'll be adding one class named as main application dot cs class then We'll be adding this line of code inside our main application.cs class file. Finally, we'll be adding this line of code. Don't forget to add this line of code as we are going to configure our Android project with Google Maps API key. Now we are done with all the platform specific implementation. Now let's add the Google Map API key 
we are going to use all the free services that Google Maps provides us at first and this project if progresses then we will be using its paid services too so we will be creating a new project at first so let's add the project name as jam g maps then let's create the project at first now we are going to enable api and services so we'll be adding maps sdk for android and similarly for ios 2 let's go back let's go back and then maps sdk for ios so these are the two sdk that are available for free so we'll be using those maps sdk for android and ios and we'll enable it now inside the dashboard if you go over there inside credentials you need to create a new credential that is the api key now we'll be using this api key inside our shared project where we have added api constants that is our google maps api key constant now let's set ios project as our starting project and then run it let's wait for some time okay we got some error so this is basically due to google maps plugin issue so i think in the later version you will get more of version increment at that time you don't need to decrement its version and then make it working Let's run the app on the iOS again. Then we'll get our successful output. So this is the exact position where we want our map to be. We'll play around with more in our next tutorial. In our Android project, what I have found was in older project of Xamarin forms, we need to add xamarin.googleplayservices.maps. If you find any issues, then don't forget to comment down in my in this video's description below. We'll just fix it together that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching